Uh, this right here, the GigaFX Chopper Tremolo. I'm going to assume that I guess a lot of you guys know what, what this one is. Um, this is used on Tool's 10,000 Days record, notably. I'm not exactly sure how many other um, more famous people use it, but um, it's cool. It has uh, a mono and then a stereo output, which if you have two amps, you got that great um, Leslie speaker type auto pan between the two. Uh, it does four things. It chops the signal, it blends it, which the blend is more like a, a chop is more like a, you know, like a severe cut of the signal. The blender is more like a delay modeler, which is pretty cool. Um, then you actually like have more of like a, I don't want to call it a delay modeler, but it kind of shakes the signal instead. So it's kind of like a cross between the first two and then the stir preset over here. Um, the last one, which is one I use the most. It's more of your traditional tremolo effect. Uh, and all of the rate, obviously, and the depth can be adjusted with your two um, knobs here. And then on the chop side, this is for the chopper. Same deal over here. Um, it's great because both of the, you can switch both to either be preset or you can um, have it where you control with your foot, um, which is great. If you listen to 10,000 Days, the actual title track, uh, Adam does that quite a bit, and if I just <clears throat> give you some volume here, so you can hear what I'm talking about. No, I'm sorry, I'm plugged in. <laughs> Pretty much unplugged. Okay, you hear that? And then faster. So, pretty nice. I'll have to uh, plug all these things back in and get everything working again. Anyway, this is just for the demo, just to show you what I have. Yeah, I got the, the small stone, made in 76, uh, it's pretty nice. Um, I don't know, I like the warmth of the older models. Uh, I don't think really EHX has been doing anything great with their new stuff lately. Um, they've kind of cheapened their, their, their PCBs, are like super flimsy. I don't know. They just made everything better back then, and when it wasn't really about the money, I guess. I don't know. Uh, right here is the, the Boss RE20, the Roland Space Echo. And a lot of people knock the uh, the Cosm technology, but to me, i got to tell you, you know, instead of spending 700 bucks or so on eBay for, for a used Roland Space Echo that are, like, extremely unreliable, um, you know, pretty much this is only, like, how much was this? Like, 150 bucks? Totally, totally worth it. Uh, you know, I'll have to do, actually I do have an in-depth demo up on YouTube right now of it, um, but for some reason the video didn't come out, but anyway, um, it's great when you, when you couple it with the whammy and other type modulation effects because of the, um, excuse me, because of the, uh, the nature of this delay being, I think it sounds very analog to my ears, I mean, the reverbs kind of suck because they're very uh, fake sounding, but if you like that kind of thing, by all means, go for it. Anyway, very cool pedal, totally worth the money. Um, yeah, the WH-1, this is the original. This thing is super rare, very expensive, but worth every cent. Um, I mean, a lot of guys use them. Anyway, I'm sure most of you know about this thing. I don't have to talk about this too much. It's pretty awesome. Uh, got the Boss RV-3. They just, this is also discontinued. Uh, worth every penny yet again um, you can probably find them on eBay for between 80 and 180 depending on the condition this one's in decent condition I got it for a decent price too but anyway it's it's awesome I do have an in-depth demo up on YouTube already for that uh, same with this pedal the Ibanez FL9 I believe this is what Adam Jones used to use uh, for his uh, his flange it uh, just has a great, great vintage analog tone. Um, I like it better than the Boss or any other flanger. It's just fantastic. Uh, you get that real anima, um, psychedelic watery tone with it. Um, and it's also modded with a different IC chip as well. So it sounds a little different than your, your, your stock model. But anyway, um, various uh, power <laughs> supplies and... Uh, crap load of cables everywhere. I still have yet to figure out a proper sequence for everything. Plus I'm getting a Line 6 DL4 
a DOD 440 uh, envelope filter and a, and a tuner, so those are on the way, plus some more patch cables, which I'm desperately in need of. Anyway, this is the gear, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Any comments, criticisms, if I screwed anything up, what I was talking about it, please let me know. Thanks, later.